technology today is advancing faster than at any other point in human history. Every few months, we hear about another incredible invention that pushes the boundaries of what we once thought was possible. From foldable phones and AI-powered earbuds to wearables that blend the digital and physical world, innovation has become the heartbeat of modern life. But with every step forward, something valuable often gets left behind. In the case of Meta's brand new Ray-Ban display glasses, that something might be repairability, the ability to keep our devices alive beyond their initial life cycle. These new smart glasses have already captured headlines around the world for their sleek, fashionable design, futuristic features, and impressive display system that projects digital information directly into your field of view. But beneath that shiny, high-tech surface lies a hidden story, one that reveals how today's tech industry continues to struggle with the balance between design perfection and long-term sustainability. When Meta launched its Ray-Ban display glasses, the company's vision was clear, to merge everyday fashion with cutting-edge augmented reality. The goal wasn't just to make a cool gadget. It was to create something that people would actually wear outside, at work, or while traveling, something that looked natural and stylish. These glasses don't make you look like a sci-fi movie character or a test subject in a futuristic lab. Instead, they look like classic Ray-Bans, the kind that never go out of style. That's a major win for Meta. But what most users don't realize is that in achieving this kind of seamless miniaturization, the company had to make massive sacrifices under the hood. And one of those sacrifices is repairability. When the teardown experts at iFixit took these glasses apart, they discovered just how far Meta had gone to seal the device into perfection. Inside, nearly every single component was glued, soldered, or sealed shut. The battery, the display system, the micro speakers, even the sensors, everything was locked into place. It's as if Meta designed these glasses to never be opened again. And while that makes sense from a durability and design perspective, it also means that if something breaks, you have no way to fix it yourself. If your battery dies or a display module fails, your only real option is to send it back to Meta or replace the entire unit. There's no user replaceable battery, no simple repair process, and no way to extend its lifespan once parts begin to age. That's a serious limitation for a product that costs hundreds of dollars and represents the future of wearable technology. This problem isn't unique to Meta. It's part of a larger trend across the entire tech industry. Smartphones, tablets, laptops, and now smart glasses are all being designed with beauty, compactness, and convenience in mind, often at the expense of long-term serviceability. The thinner and lighter a device becomes, the harder it gets to open and repair. Companies argue that this is necessary to achieve the level of performance and design consumers expect. And they're not wrong. People love sleek devices. We want them to feel premium, light, and durable. But what we often overlook is that achieving that perfection often means sealing everything inside a compact, unopenable frame. That's where innovation meets a trade-off, a constant battle between elegance and longevity. The question is, are we really moving forward if our devices become disposable every few years? That's the deeper conversation that Meta's new Ray-Ban display glasses bring to the surface. Because when you strip away the excitement of the technology and look at what's inside, you realize that this new generation of tech might be sacrificing sustainability for sophistication. But before we judge, it's worth understanding why these glasses are so complex. Let's talk about what makes them such a technological marvel, their display system. The display resolution may not sound particularly impressive at first, around 600 by 600 pixels, but in the context of a wearable that fits into the arm of a pair of glasses, it's extraordinary. This display works through a system called a waveguide, a set of microscopic layers of glass that guide light from a projector hidden in the frame directly into your eyes. Each layer must be aligned with near-perfect precision. A shift as small as a fraction of a millimeter can destroy the entire visual EF. Fact, that's one reason why these glasses are nearly impossible to repair once they're assembled. The optical path is so delicate that even a single crack or speck of dust can ruin it completely. 
Interestingly, the waveguides in Meta's glasses are believed to be made by Loomis, an Israeli company known for its advanced optical systems, and mass-produced by Schott, a German manufacturer specializing in precision glass technology. These two companies are helping pave the way for a future where AR glasses are not only functional, but also fashionable. Yet, as of now, we're still in the early stages of that journey. Allowing users to repair devices might expose delicate electrical components, risk overheating, or even create safety issues if reassembled incorrectly. But from the consumer and environmental perspective, this approach fuels a throwaway culture, a cycle where devices are replaced, not repaired. Every year, millions of electronic devices end up in landfills, not because they're obsolete, but because they can't be fixed. And this is happening during a time when we're capable of fitting full computers, cameras, and display systems into objects as small as eyeglass frames. The irony couldn't be clearer. We've built the smartest devices in history, but they're also some of the least sustainable. That's why the right to repair movement has gained so much traction in recent years. Consumers and environmentalists around the world are demanding that companies make their devices easier to fix, offering spare parts, manuals, and tools that allow people to extend the lifespan of their tech. Even governments have started responding. In the U.S. and across Europe, lawmakers are pushing new regulations that require companies to support repairability for several years after a product's release. Meta's Ray-Ban display glasses sit right in the middle of this philosophical tug-of-war. On one hand, they're a symbol of how far technology has come. On the other, they're a reminder of how much work still needs to be done to make innovation sustainable. It's impossible not to be impressed by their craftsmanship, the precise alignment of optics, the flawless integration of electronics, and the sheer ambition of putting augmented reality into a pair of fashion glasses. But when you learn that every piece inside is permanently bonded, it's easy to see how fragile the balance between innovation and practicality has become. Every millimeter of space inside those frames serves a purpose. Every design choice, from the curvature of the lens to the thickness of the arms, is optimized for performance. And in that optimization, there's simply no room left for modularity. Yet, this is just the beginning. These glasses represent the first chapter of what will likely become a long story, one where augmented reality becomes as common as smartphones. The technology we're seeing today is laying the foundation for the next decade of wearable computing. The current limitations, the narrow field of view, the sealed design, the non-replaceable battery, are all temporary challenges. As materials advance and manufacturing methods improve, future versions will undoubtedly find ways to combine high performance with easier maintenance. Already, companies like Loomis are developing next-generation waveguides with wider fields of view and better light efficiency. Shot is creating more durable glass materials capable of handling optical precision while being resistant to damage. And Meta itself continues to experiment with ways to make its devices lighter, stronger, and more sustainable. The real brilliance of the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses isn't just in their hardware or display. It's in what they represent. The beginning of a new era of wearable technology that could eventually balance design, performance, and repairability in perfect harmony. When you look at them today, you see the first glimpse of a future where the digital world is no longer trapped in our pockets or screens. It's seamlessly integrated into what we wear, what we see, and how we live. These glasses may not be the final destination, but they're an important step in the evolution of human-computer interaction. And as we move forward, one thing is certain. The conversation about how we design, repair, and sustain our technology will only grow louder. Because in the race towards smarter, smaller, and sleeker devices, the true mark of progress won't just be how advanced they are, be. You see how responsibly they're made. The Meta Ray-Ban display glasses are both a technological triumph and a wake-up call, reminding us that innovation must go hand-in-hand -hand with sustainability if we want a future that lasts.